And so that's the kind of uh, wear that hmm. we had. Wow. Huh. You, you can tell by this, the green stripe? Yeah, and okay. the thickness of it. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah, that says that if they drop, they're either going to really crack in half <laughs> or they're not going to break at all. <laughs> that reminds me of one time working in a, in a Christian retreat center kind of place um, with a lot of young people that helped in the kitchen and stuff. One time, you know, they had the big dishwashing thing with the the, the, the trays that go through. Oh, yeah. And, and that, that uh, not kind of a conveyor belt kind of thing, they go through the, the automatic dishwasher anyways and it's carrying them back to where they're supposed to be stored. One kid tripped with a whole thing of glasses. Oh, and they all broke. Oh, oh man. And it was, Oh, well, I'm just glad it wasn't. Yeah, I, I was glad it wasn't out. me. Yeah, that we put, we would have, we was in a nursing home, so we had a dish room where we washed the dishes and had the big dishwasher mm -hmm. and the pot and pan sink mm -hmm. and everything. But we put the, the on a cart, you know, and wheel it out, and mm -hmm. she tripped, and she was pushing a tray, a big car, a cart full of plates and mm -hmm. and. And broke and hit her foot. I said, "Now that is why I require you to wear covered shoes, <laughs> and no sandals." And mm -hmm. you know, I said, "That is one of the reasons." Because of course, the main reason is burns. Mm -hmm. You know, you could spill mm -hmm. things. But that <laughs> hit her foot, and she did have covered shoes on. But I said, "There you go." And, mm -hmm. Oh, she was a, you know. Oh, take it out of my pay. No, we don't take it. We don't do that. <laughs> Accidents do yeah. happen. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, that's... So G.C. Murphy's was... Was it no, it's not just one store, or did they have other stores? It was a chain. Okay, let's... Uh -huh. oh. So aside from laundry... What do you got planned for today? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I really haven't, I haven't made any big plans. I go, may go walk at uh, this little, uh, what used to be a, a mall, the first mall Amarillo had. Hmm. Has Amarillo grown a lot since you've been here? Yes, oh. yes. <laughs> anyway, when I first moved here, I worked for an electrical wholesale place, and I, I typed invoices and did ran a big old bookkeeping machine, you know. And uh, the Sunset Center Mall was being built then. Mm. So mm. I, you know, I remember typing a million invoices that things that were electrical stuff that was going out there. Mm. Anyway, now it's an art colony. Oh uh, my word! Basically, and mm -hmm. all these little shops now have individual artists in them, and so it's a neat place to walk. Yeah. So mm. we usually go there at 8:30. Uh, meet there, I meet a friend, and we walk. Hmm. So I told her, you know, that I would call her. Was the interstate that. was the interstate here when you moved into this house? No. Hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. They were, they were, uh, but we lived, you know, this big church down here on the corner. When mm -hmm. we first married, well, no, it wasn't first, but anyway, we lived in a little rent house that was right beside that church, which is now a parking lot for that <laughs> church. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, they were they were moving out houses all there where the interstate is, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and uh, they had these huge. Uh, they were building these huge drainage mm. fields, uh, you know, and they were putting in these big old pipes. Yep. My husband was really short; he was just barely five feet five feet tall, mm. and uh, he could stand up inside those. Oh pipes. my word! And. Uh, I'll pay attention to my cook. I can't cook and talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, never mind. <laughs> anyway, there was, but by the time we moved over here, which was several years later, when we bought this house, I'm not sure if it was actually, if it was finished, it might have been finished by then. Because that was about, well, our, our kids were four years apart and Carl was nine until, so I'm sure it was. It was finished. But I remember it when we lived in that little rent house. So it was just a two lane highway, wasn't it? A two lane road? I don't know what it yeah. was before. Because when we came hmm. 
all in 67. We came from Michigan and drove. Yeah. And we would have driven through. We, we well, went like Route 66. 66. I was going to say, wouldn't it have been we, Route 66? We, we drove Route yeah. 66 all the way. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's, and it was that's just now a, over across town. So I think this is a completely new route, man. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Because we came Route 66. And, right. and it was too late. Yeah, yeah and that was just too late. <laughs> But, oh, our kids just thought that was wonderful. The, the, the trip, you mean? The trip, yeah. yeah. Come Route 66. Cause, oh, because it's so it famous. Was, yeah. yeah, it was famous. And, and then, of course, um, but now, a day, you know, our grandson, Will, uh, he's 24, but, you know, Route 66, what's that? I mean, you know, <laughs> they, they, <laughs> they don't know about the historical value of Route 66. He's <laughs> just from... Oh. There, his friends, kids watching the movie Cars. I've got the eggs done <laughs> and I haven't made any toast.